This weekend marks the official start of summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Folks will be looking for some water to cool off in, be it in a pool, a lake, or the ocean. But what about swimming off of boat docks or in marinas? While that might sound like a good idea, and I'm sure you've seen people doing it, or maybe you've even done it yourself, did you know that that can be extremely dangerous? Welcome to Learn Something New by NFPA Journal. Today, we're going to be diving, that's right, I said it, into the topic of electric shock drowning, or ESD, and teaching some of the ways you can cool off while staying safe this summer. Electric shock drowning occurs when faulty wiring on a boat or a dock sends an electrical current zipping through the water. If you're swimming in that water or jump into it, you can get electrocuted. If the shock itself isn't enough to kill you, it can cause temporary paralysis, leading to drowning. Every year, ESD claims lives. While ESD is most often associated with electrical equipment found on boats or at docks and marinas, it can happen in pools too, where faulty lighting may send a current through the water. NFPA is involved in a number of ways with efforts to lessen the risk of ESD. NFPA 70, the National Electrical Code, for example, includes requirements for electrical equipment on docks, as well as requirements for signage warning would-be swimmers of the potential shock hazard. Unfortunately, we know that codes like the NEC aren't always followed, so how can you stay safe? Firstly, as a general rule of thumb, just avoid swimming in marinas, boatyards, or off of docks where boats come in and out of. And no matter where you swim, always look for signage. If you're in the water and you start to feel a tingling sensation, try to swim in a direction away from where that sensation seems to be coming from and get out of the water immediately. If possible, exit the water without touching metal ladders or railings. More information on ESD, including some tips for reducing the risk of ESD in pools, is available online at nfpa.org. A link to the organization's landing page on electrical safety around water is included in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. If you like these Learn Something New videos, please let us know by leaving a comment. And be sure to subscribe to NFPA's YouTube channel for more content like this.